Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, NPTEL course titled Diffusion in Solids. I am Dr. Mayur Vaidya, a faculty in the Department of Material Science and Metallurgical Engineering at uh, IIT Hyderabad. So, over the course of next 12 weeks, I will uh, cover the various aspects of uh, diffusion, solving mathematical problems, uh, going into the atomic mechanisms and so on. But before even I go to the content of the course, let me just uh, show you some everyday phenomena observed uh, by you, surely. So, for example, you must have seen this, the aroma of uh, agarbati spreading across the room. You also might have come across uh, an example like this, which is the spreading of ink or a colored uh, solution in the water. And also, we observe that the rusting of uh, metallic uh, objects frequently, which is old and so on, so you have this uh, coloration. So, let me tell you, of th all these phenomena are actually diffusion related phenomena or a diffusion controlled phenomena. Uh, I have taken example uh, from the gaseous medium, from the liquid and from the solid. So, basically, which suggests that uh, diffusion involves the uh, motion of uh, atoms or the movement of atoms. But does every movement uh, of atoms uh, can be called a diffusion or does every movement can qualify as a diffusion? What about uh, this for example? This also uh, we see daily in our uh, lives. So, the flowing of water from the tap, does this also come under uh, the diffusion process? Maybe you will be able to tell me answers uh, after uh, you went through this uh, course. So, now, let me come to the content of uh, the course. So, as I said that course uh, is uh, will run over uh, 12 weeks and uh, we have tried to see that uh, each week has uh, one module or one module for over two weeks. So, we will be uh, starting uh, with uh, fixed laws of uh, diffusion, uh, solution to diffusion related problem, the mathematical a way how do we solve the problem. This so is what we call as a continuum approach, where we are interested in the macroscopic uh, quantities related to diffusion. To ensure that uh, you have some uh, mathematical fundamentals covered, I have also kept a couple of uh, lectures on uh, revisiting some ma uh, important mathematical concepts which are relevant for this uh, course, as well as uh, you will also uh, have an introduction to some of uh, the techniques to solve the differential equation like uh, Laplace transforms. Then uh, we go to the more atomistic mechanism that means inside uh, the material how the diffusion is happening. So, this particular course as the title suggests that uh, we will be only talking about the diffusion in solids. Then uh, in the coming 4th, uh, 5th and 6th uh, week, uh, we uh, continue our uh, discussion on atomic mechanisms and then uh, proceed to what is known as the process of interdiffusion, which you frequently encounter in uh, several practical scenarios. And uh, then uh, onwards, uh, I will also show you uh, an important uh, tool to simulate the diffusion profiles and that is uh, the CALFAD uh, based uh, approach. So, we will have one week uh, devoted to that. Then onwards, uh, there is uh, a week uh, where we will uh, talk about the techniques to measure the diffusion coefficients. What are the different ways in which we can measure, measure the diffusion in uh, solids? And uh, we will also uh, look at uh, some of uh, the additional paths uh, or the paths of diffusion uh, that exist in the uh, material. And uh, in the last uh, three uh, weeks or so, I want to talk about diffusion in specific classes of materials which is very important uh, in a sense that these different classes of uh, materials are useful for various technological applications and uh, therefore, uh, it is uh, important that we understand how the diffusion proceeds uh, in these uh, materials. So, we have uh, coverage from nanocrystalline materials, intermetallic, uh, quasi-crystalline alloys, metallic systems, high entropy alloys which is a newly uh, developed class of alloys, uh, semiconductors, glasses, ionic solids and then uh, at the end we will also have a revision of uh, concepts. And as you can see that every week uh, I will also be taking a tutorial lecture. The tutorial will be uh, uploaded uh, in advance. You will have some 
time to go through it, uh, which will be based on the week's content. And then uh, we will uh, discuss uh, the solutions of uh, those uh, problems uh, in the uh, lecture. So this is how the course is structured. Let me also uh, tell you the references. These are the two major uh, reference books uh, from which uh, the majority of the material is uh, taken. Uh, this is a book by Helmut uh, Mehrer uh, and uh, this is uh, the book uh, authored by uh, Alok Paul, uh, Tommy, uh, Visa and uh, Sergei Divinsky. So uh, both of these uh, books are referred uh, in this uh, course. Then uh, let me just uh, also uh, take a few uh, frequently asked questions. So the first one being uh, who can take this course, are there any prerequisites? So this course is uh, suitable for any undergraduate, uh, postgraduate, even PhD students uh, can take this course. There is no prerequisite uh, for this course. Uh, some of the concepts that are required, as I mentioned, that some mathematical uh, concepts, uh, some thermodynamic uh, related uh, uh, concepts, and uh, some revisiting of uh, atomic structure and the defects in material that I will be covering in few of the lectures, which should be good enough for you to uh, understand the content of the course. Then what are the unique features of uh, this course? So if you will see this cover, uh, this particular course uh, talks about a breadth of uh, diffusion uh, related concepts in the materials starting from the continuum approach which is a macroscopic understanding to also going in deeper into the atomic mechanisms then also uh, taking you to understand the diffusion in various class of materials. And also we have uh, incorporated as I uh, told that uh, computational uh, tools so that you get some hands-on uh, experience. We have a demonstration uh, using Scilab where you can plot the diffusion equations graphically and understand how the variation of various parameters influence the composition profiles and so on. So these are some uh, unique uh, features that you will find in this course. Uh, will I get uh, any hands-on experience uh, being a virtual uh, course? It is difficult uh, to uh, provide any hands-on uh, experience in the experimental terms, but uh, as I just mentioned that uh, you will be having exercise uh, where you can write some uh, codes and uh, plot uh, the graphs yourself. Will there be assignments? Yes, definitely there will be uh, assignments based on each uh, week's uh, content and the solutions will be provided and I will also conduct uh, one uh, session uh, in a month or uh, so where uh, we can take your doubts and we can uh, also take the doubts in the uh, assignments and so on. So this uh, I just answered that your doubts in lectures and uh, assignments uh, can be answered. Uh, you can also write uh, freely in the forum, uh, post the uh, questions and uh, uh, either me or the teaching assistants uh, will try to uh, reply uh, you as uh, soon as uh, possible. So uh, I hope uh, that uh, you learn. And uh, more importantly, you enjoy uh, learning uh, about uh, the diffusion in uh, solids over the course of uh, next uh, 12 weeks. Thank you.